Well, we're going to be diving in to trying to figure out how transformers mechanistically work. But uh, I'm sure you'll be shocked to learn that uh, transformers are pretty complicated to think about. And so rather than going and starting uh, with uh, full-on large transformers, and especially uh, the kind of really large uh, language models that we see in modern NL NLP, um, we're going to start with a couple of videos uh, studying smaller, simplified versions of the transformer and work our way up. And in particular, uh, we're going to be starting right now with a zero-layer transformer, which is really the, the, the simplest model that you can sort of conceive of that um, bears any resemblance at all to a transformer. And, um, despite being so simple, there will be some small takeaways that are useful. And so we're going to briefly, briefly talk about the zero-layer transformer. So a zero layer transformer really just has two steps. Uh, we're going to do a token embedding, and then we're going to do an unembedding to get the logins. So for the token embedding, um, we're going to go and think of the token as a one hot vector. And then we're going to multiply by we, the word embedding. And that will give us the, the token embedding. And then we'll multiply by the unembedding matrix, and that'll give us the logins. So two steps. That's the entire thing. That's the entire model. Um, and so we're just going in from the previous token, predicting the next token uh, by going and multiplying those through those two matrices. And we can just write those out, um, if we want, as a product. And so that, that WEWU matrix has to be representing um, the bigram statistics, the, the frequencies just that empirically one token follows another. And those bigram statistics, in particular, needs to go and represent the, the bigram log likelihoods, right? Because we're, we're going to go and feed it into a softmax, so we, we want to have the, the log likelihoods. Um, and it'll probably be an approximation, because uh, it has to be, be low rank. Probably the, the, the embeddings that we're using are much smaller than our vocabulary size. So it's, it's an approximation of that. But uh, when we see that product, that, that's what it means. And that actually right there is everything useful I have to say on zero layer transformers. Um, but it is, I think, a genuinely useful statement, because um, when we study larger transformers, all the way up to very large transformers, every equation we see, uh, or at least the overall equation for the transformer, will always have a term that looks exactly like that, W, U, W, E. And so when we see it, we should immediately suspect that it's going to be doing some kind of bigram statistic-ish like thing, and we should think back to the humble zero-layer transformer um, and remember that. So, okay, that's what we have to say on zero-layer zero layer transformers. Um, and uh, in our next video, we'll dive into one-layer attention-only transformers.